thanks for staying with us. Now, you all may not know this, but before every show mm -hmm. on Sunrise, the team starts with a morning prayer. Right, Tammy? Yep. We do. It's so important to put God first in all that we do, and we take that very seriously. Today's Wednesday service is all about setting a positive tone in schools. So we'll be looking at how a quick devotion can create a sense of community and help students start their day with purpose. Mm -hmm. Retired principal and education expert Esther Tyson joined us this morning to talk about the power of daily devotions. Welcome, Esther. Good morning. Good morning. Can I call you Esther? Good morning. <laughs> Today I feel like we have Miss Tyson. Miss Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> no, Esther is good. Esther yeah. is good. Yeah. So nice to have you here with us this yeah, morning. And as I just said, before we start every show, we always say a prayer because I'm it does give that. us a sense of purpose as we move along. Wonderful. I want to know how important you think it is for us to continue daily devotions at in, school. In school, yeah. In schools, I think it is so important. And I think it is something that helps to set the tone for the day. We live in a very volatile society. Mm -hmm. Many of our children come from communities and homes that really they don't know a lot of peace. Right. And I think it's important that when they come to school, that they are in a setting that there is prayer and helps to settle their hearts mm -hmm. and their spirits. Mm -hmm. And also to identify that school is a safe place, you yes. know, and that there's a sense of God's presence. And when I was at Tarrant High School for yes. a year, mm -hmm. I started playing every morning. I would pray uh, worship music and read for them a proverb. Mm -hmm. And it helped not only to set to the students, but the community. Mm -hmm. that is very so important. Very, very important. Uh, I was gonna ask you for a story, but you just shared one, you know? Yes. Because I'm sure there are, there are different stories um, yes. where these devotions have, have in, impacted students, particular students who have changed, you know? Yes. Because of how off it is. I mean, I think, is it, is it still commonplace for devotions to happen at every school? I it, don't, I know that the church schools and the trust schools, definitely. Uh, it should happen um, in government schools, but I don't know if it happens in every government schools. I really can't speak to that. Understood. What, what do you think is the long-term impact of ensuring that it remains in schools, devotion? I think, first of all, it has to be, and I know the ministry is putting together uh, uh, <coughs> a document to guide how devotion should be done in right. schools. So that will help. But we need to make sure that it is centered on God mm. and God's presence in the school and not some elusive presence, universal spirit or anything like that. Mm. We're talking about God and Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so I would believe that if you have schools, even the government schools will have some churches aligned with them to have chaplains in the schools, mm -hmm. that certainly will help. And I know in the church schools, because of the principles of the church schools, and that will continue. I think it's very important. Um, I remember when I was principal at Arden, and each year, like now, when we have orientation for first formers coming in, I would ask them, how many of you go to Sunday school or to Sabbath school? And every year, the numbers decreased. Wow. So gone are the days when parents would send their children to Sunday school or Sabbath school, even if they weren't going, those days have lessened. And we have seen the impact on it. Mm. The kids, when they're in a, spa in a space, especially with social media, they look to that. They don't have the resilience and a spiritual foundation to pull on in times of difficulties. And we are certainly living in times with many difficulties surrounding us in Jamaica and the world. And it's very frightening. And they need that stability. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I'm curious to know, as a retired principal, yes. uh, what advice, you, you mentioned earlier, you used to uh, read a proverb, you'd play worship mm -hmm. music. What advice do you have to principals who may be watching now, teachers who are watching now, who say, you know, maybe I would like to implement uh, devotion. Any advice? Yes, certainly. I think if some persons are not versed in the Bible, I think a good place to start is the Proverbs mm -hmm. because they teach life. Mm -hmm. And I think you find Proverbs, you can um, research in terms of topics that you want to inspire the students with and find those and just use those as guidelines. You also have 
um, guidelines that are done by various institutions to how to do devotions in schools. So those can be used. And I think more and more we need to ask churches to put together those type of guidelines for schools, especially if it is not a church school. Right. You know, but you can find that. But if you in doubt, start with the Proverbs. Give us an example. Let us, let's, I, are, I want a morning students. devotion, right? You right, want no. to do a devotion? Yes, right. Yes. All right, all right. Yes. Okay, good morning, students. Good, good morning, morning, Ms. Tyson. <laughs> Welcome to school. And this morning, we are going to start with a chorus. And we are going to sing, God is good. Can you sing with me? One, two, three. God is good. God is good. God is good to me. How could I let him down? How could I let him down? How could I let him down? He's been so good to me. Yes. And this morning's scripture is, Remember your creator, Ecclesiastes 12.1. In the days of your youth, so that when the evil days come, you will have no part in it. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day and we pray for each of the students here. We pray that you give them your peace. We pray that you give them your guidance. When they are in difficult spots, help them to look to your Holy Spirit to lead and guide them in the way that they must go. We give you thanks. We pray for your peace over our school today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And Amen. just as simple awesome. as that, right? Just <laughs> Set as in the tone. As that. In the tone. <laughs> awesome. I think you should be writing uh, some guidelines <laughs> yes, for how yes, to yes. do <laughs> these devotions and get them out to schools. Why not? To so people who are Why interested. <laughs> I think I think you'd be a perfect person to do Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us this Thanks morning and sharing so with much. us and for praying Always. with us and having devotion with us today. <laughs> we appreciate it My very pleasure. much. All right, that was Esther Tyson. Hmm, sorry, retired principal <laughs> and education experts. After the break, we're rising and shining and ready to sign Jamaica. Stay tuned and can I get some water? <laughs> water. 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 Water.